Hi, this video features extracts from two of the harmonic tutorials that are part of the Jazz Duets Rhythm Changes Masterclass. Understanding the harmony of this iconic jazz progression is fundamental if you want to be able to improvise freely and with authority. In Louis Armstrong's version, there are two chords per bar. Chords 1, 6 minor, 2 minor 7 and 5, 7. This is known in jazz as a turnaround progression as the chords go round and round. This version, however, still becomes tedious on the ear after a while if it is the only harmony heard on the A sections of the tune. To remedy this, jazz musicians over time started to add in other harmonies. Let's now listen to the I Got Rhythm progression with these chords added in, in bars 5 and 6. There is an alternative to the descending bass line we just saw and heard, and that is the ascending one. Here it is. B flat. B flat 7, E flat, E diminished to B flat. The great thing about these closely related non diatonic chords is that they contain jazzy notes for the soloist to jump on or not as they choose. Here are a few examples of the saxophone tracing those chords, highlighting the colors. Now let's spice up the previous diatonic turnaround very slightly. B flat, G7, C minor 7 to F7. So now the second chord is dominant. Here are a few lines that punctuate that second chord. There is another chord jazz musicians started to use as a substitute for G7. B flat 6. B diminished 7th, C minor 7 to F7. Here now are some lines that highlight and trace the sounds we have seen. Six, bridge alternatives. If we proceed each dominant by its relative two minus seven, we get A minus seven to D seven, D minus seven to G seven, G minus seven to C seven, C minus seven to F seven. Now as improvisers, we have double the amount of chords to jump on. Hank Mobley really plays and highlights these relative minors in his solo in a crystal clear way. Check out the link in the video description if you want to see the full length harmonic tutorials.